What up, people? It's your boy Chig from Green and Eagle Eye. That's right, you've just tuned in to the chopping block. I've used a couple of phrases on this show before that have either gotten laughs or have gotten people angry. <laughs> and those phrases are usually not not motherfuckers and sentiment rules this club, particularly the fan base. I believe that we've got a manager on the back of sentiment. I believe that, you know, his ideas are outdated. I believe that um, his strategies are outdated. Uh, His thought processes are outdated. But even so, we were given, we gave him a two year contract on the back of the fact that he was once upon a time a great manager. But I've said my piece on that and much like every Arsenal fan at the moment we're just trying to get behind the team as much as possible but nothing applies more to sentiment than the man I'm about to mention Jack Wilshere I remember when I was a, a newbie to Twitter and it wasn't that long ago I'd, I'd resisted Twitter for a long period of time um, too long really but a long period of time because I just felt Blimey, the kind of abuse that people get on Twitter. Do I really want to subject myself to that? Um, and then I had an idea potentially to start a channel um, and get my views out there because I was sick of annoying my mates on WhatsApp and Google Allo. And I kind of just wanted to have a platform where I can voice my opinion with potentially and hopefully like-minded people and have a debate with those people who aren't like-minded. Uh, but it's YouTube, so you should know better. <laughs> and I definitely should have known better. Um, but I also remember two years ago, one of the things that got me in trouble was the fact that I totally and utterly agreed with loaning Jack Wilshire. I remember there was so much uproar. There was so much disappointment and anger with the fact that we would let Jack Wilshire go. And... And at the time, I was like, but this is the correct decision. The man is always injured. Let him prove to Wenger that he can play games, play games of high quality. And if he performs well, he'll come back into the squad. I don't really see what the problem is. The people in uproar, oh my gosh, I can't believe Wenger. This, that, listen, I'll criticize the man over a lot of things. I thought that was one of the few decisions last year he got right. And he played, and he played, and we all started to think, hold up, my man ain't getting injured. What's going on? And he wasn't setting the world alight, but he was at least just playing games consistently. And then, unfortunately for him, towards the end of the season, he picked up, which, let's face it, is a standard with Jack, an injury. And now we've come to the question because... As per usual, he's another one of our players in the last year of our contract. And the question has come up. Do we let go of Jack? Now, before I say anything else, let me say this. I, once upon a time, very much highly rated Jack. To the point where me and my mate almost had a massive falling out over the fact that he was ridiculing me over the idea that I would prefer Jack over Aaron Ramsey. I will still say this. Take injuries out of it. I still believe Jack Walsh is a, a, a better technical player. But a man is always injured. You don't have a man in the team because he's Arsenal through and through. And that's arguable in itself because we know he's a West Ham fan. We know he's a West Ham boy. But people have short-term memories to this stuff. And now, my only gripe with with Jack being linked with a move away is the fact that he's being linked with a move away for so cheap. People are talking about seven, eight million. And I'm like, all right, I know he's an injury croc. But he's 25 years old and he's an English player. I'd be disappointed if I get anything less than 20 million for him. And quite frankly, I still think 20 million is too small. For me, it's time to let go. It is time to let go of this Jack idea. 
This idea that Jack will be our Steven Gerrard. This idea that Jack is Arsenal through and through. These are the same people that will then go out and say they want Venom out because, oh, well, sentiment doesn't win you trophies. That applies to players too, you know. Hearing people talking about, oh, well, Jack is good for the, for the dressing room. Cool. You know that's not his job though, right? That's the job for coaches to be strong and good for the dressing room. People who are playing, that's their job to be strong and good for the dressing room. The man, how can you be strong from the dressing room from the treatment table? From NHS? How? What good is he doing in the team by always being injured? And people didn't like it when I, when I, when I dare mention that Santi should be sold for that exact reason. But at least with Santi, he's had a better injury record than Jack. And that is saying something. That is really saying something. It's time to let go. I've said this before and I say this again. Knock, knock, motherfuckers. This is not 2010. This is not 2011. If you want, if you're complaining about not winning titles, it's time to let go of these players that were once upon a time, the potential was great. But at some point you have to look forward. And unfortunately for Jack, looking forward is without Jack. I wish him all the luck in the world. And I personally don't hate Jack. If he ends up going to West Ham or Sandoria, he has my absolute blessing and I wish him all the luck in the world. But we need to clear our books. We need to raise money to potentially buy the type of player that will help us go forward. And unfortunately for Jack, that is not him. Jack continuing, continuing to be here is holding back someone like a Maitland Niles. Someone like a Joe Willock. People who, youngsters that we've been enjoying in our preseason tournament so far. How are they meant to break through when Jack is still there? Never mind bringing in other quality. Come on, people. Anyway, that's my little rant over with. You let me know what you think. Would you let go of Jack? Surely, surely it's the right decision. Do let me know. I'm really genuinely curious to know what the fan base thinks 12 months on from me having this argument. But let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're listening to me for the first time, you know it makes sense. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm hoping to get Stell and Lee together to do a little show about the transfer window. So it should be a good one. Stay tuned. Hopefully that will be on Sunday. So that's even more reason to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. And also do me one more favor. Crush, destroy, press it twice if you can, that like button. Press it three times just to make sure you didn't undo it. Crush that like button for me. I really appreciate it. You guys know I love you all. And I will get back to you as soon as possible with some news. Also, if you're on Twitter, do follow me at Colossal Chig. My handle's in the description below. All right, people, I'm out of here. Take care. Peace.